sometimes you get an email that looks like it comes from one address, like 20 min system at yahoo.com, but it really comes from somewhere else. This is a spam message and I, what I tend to do is scroll to the bottom sometimes just to see if it's something I really need to unsubscribe to. And when I got to the bottom, I saw this um, weird domain names. Now the thing is, they just happen to use 20 min system at yahoo.com. This could just as easily be a Gmail address or even something on your own domain. Um, we've had, as a web host, we've had people complain that they apparently get spam back from their own, that they never sent, so they think our server is being spammed. In some cases, somebody might send them an email that says, hey, you're sending me spam, and they know nothing about it. But when they look, they can see that it came from their domain, even though it really didn't. For example, as the recipient here, if I hit reply, it's going to go back to that Yahoo address. But that's not really where it came from. Um, to, be able to, to be able to tell where it really came from, you have to look at the headers. Right click on the address before you open it, go to message options, and right here you can see the true return path, which in this case comes from bluehost.com. So if everyone, anyone ever says, well, I need to see the mail header, if you're trying to report an error, this is called the mail header. You just highlight everything, right click and copy, and that is your entire mail header information. A forwarded email message does not include the mail headers, so forwarding a message as a spam complaint is not going to do any good.